I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimbia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And an ample pair to our brand new patrons, Ordinary Skeleton, Hunter Tannum, Connor Blake, Joseph Kane, Jazlyn Lemka, and Mason Plank. Let's start the shit show. So. Hello. I have become a woman. No, stop that. That's not appropriate at all. We've got a couple of guests with us today. <laughs> In the shape of Nova's new titties. Nova's got titties. Well, she's coming for my gig. I, you know, I've come today in my fine evening attire, whereby you can see my breasts. And I, I'm just going to say this here and now. I don't think anything beats, you know, real supple flesh. So we were lucky <laughs> enough to be gifted this magnificent rack by Dotier, is the name of the company. And we'll put all of their details in the description. They have an eBay store. I think they're on AliExpress as well. But before we go into the review of these titoires, let's just show you like our first impression out of the box. Oh, here we go. Right, so I wanted to like show you our first impressions of them out of drag because they are quite difficult to get on and off um, because they're silicone. They do kind of like stick to your face and they've got like a high neck and like, I might put a wig cap on, it might be a bit easier. Shah said that she, it would be fine to do her face and then put these on and it'd be fine, she can just stretch it over. And then we watched her do it and it was literally like Ace Ventura, like when he was like coming out of that rhino's ass, remember? Yeah, it's not easy. So yeah, it's like, it's absolutely impossible. I've seen you do this um, one time and it was absolutely like so stressful. Also, I'm not wearing a stitch of makeup so I look like I've been shat out, so apologies for that. Like I've Ace just, Ventura I've being shat out by the showered. rhino. Um, but let's just show you. We have unfortunately had to, so we don't get like demonetized on YouTube. I've tried to cover the nipples up, but this is one thing that I will say about them. I tried like three different types of tape and nothing would stick to them. I don't know if that's the type of silicone they are or what. I, I've never had like breast plates before, so I don't Slightly know. Slightly clammy, aren't but they? Nothing, so nothing, nothing would stick. stick to them. But I did have from fucking years ago, for some reason, a stick-on bra. So that's what they're wearing at the moment. If you want to see pictures of them without this stick-on bra, they'll be on our Patreon and stuff. Uh, pictures. If you want to see Nova jumping up and down with full on nip and Oh yeah, it's actually like a proper video. With like sexy us. music added, that's on the Patreon. Oh my God. <laughs> No, no. Sell it properly. Please. So unfortunately, no. we are wearing this this bra. Oh, have a look. <laughs> the sound they make is absolutely atrocious. It's so like they literally. <laughs> they came in a box. This is the box they came in, and then they came inside a bag, and it was like powdered almost, like it was kind of like talc mm. to stop them. Like I yeah. think you've got to like make sure they're, they're dry otherwise can't silicone like erode or something. Yeah, it's, I guess it's kind of like looking after latex products. You have to yeah. kind of maintain them a little bit. So this is them. They're really heavy. That was they're the first really thing heavy. I noticed was when I, the postman gave me the box, we put it down anyway and left and walked off. So I picked up and I was like, I was like, have you ordered shoes? Cause it's exactly the same sort of size as a shoe box. They, they feel, and it was so heavy. They feel really, really good. So these are silicone filled and they do feel really good. What I will say as well about the nipples is that, I mean, each of their own, the nipples are a little bit too like erect for me. So They're I think like I probably would wear this stick on bra anyway. 90s Jennifer Aniston nipples. That's how like pointy. Do you remember when that They're was a thing? They're so pointy. Um, so yeah. if you want people to be like, oh, like you want people to notice the nipples through, then like that, that's great. Mm. Um, I guess for some people that adds like a little bit of realism in, but like I'm just all about the cleavage. I didn't want like nipples on show. You're not like lactating or anything. No. So the neck goes quite high in the back and then it like dips down a bit in the front. Which I don't think is, I don't know if that's typical of breastplates because I've never seen them do that. But then I guess I don't really, I don't have that much knowledge about them, but I assume they would be uh, the same level all the way around. Um, I guess maybe it goes up higher to allow you to wear shorter hairstyles. Because if you have a longer hair, it doesn't matter, obviously, at the back where it ends. Um, but that would allow you to wear something a bit shorter. I guess that would be the reason for it. Um, shall I try them on? I suppose. God, all right. <sighs> Presenting Neither in Tits. Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh, it's bizarre, isn't it? Have a look. So I wanted to show you this out of drag, and it is really unfortunate that I can't like take this bra off because if I show you these nipples on YouTube, like this video would be an absolute waste of time. Does we'll it think of video. somewhere. There's a video on Patreon. Like if you want to see the nipples, it's full on and over bouncing her breasts in yeah. your face. Um, We've finally resorted to Novimpia porn. It's been a while. So this is like obviously not wearing any clothes, so you can see exactly like where the edges start and end. Um, they come like just mid shoulder, well actually just before the shoulders, and the edges are quite thick. They don't taper as much as um, other brands, but I mean you're going to mostly have like hair covering that. These were more of the high end price ones though, so I can't imagine they would be thinner. We'll have all the info in the description box um, so we can show you like... Because the if they were thinner, I imagine it would be that they were more easily damaged. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I don't. Th I think the thicker it is, is probably the more expensive it is. It would just be a guess. I don't know, but don't you undo the middle? Oh, stop it! I just want to show like <laughs> how like squishy they are. They're really, really like. So this company do they do and they really jiggle. Cotton filled was one of them. Cotton filled. Yeah, and these are silicon. So they are. I mean, I have touch boobs before. I'm sure a lot of us have. Girls, obviously, if there's some ladies watching, you'll know what this is like for the majority. <laughs> it's like moulded, like it's real. bones. It's so realistic. I'm so yeah. impressed with the, with the, I guess, is it clavicle? Is this bit? Yeah. Um, it looks a little bit shiny on camera. I've not tried putting powder or anything on and you can see there like it looks a little bit like shiny, like sweaty. When we do like our entire faces, I'll put these on and maybe like try to powder it and see if I can blend it with my skin a bit more. But the colour is a very good match. It doesn't look like it because I'm so fucking pasty, but normally I would put foundation on my chest. Yeah. I'm not wearing yeah. any makeup on my face, but the colour match is pretty good. As for like how far down they go, so I'm like weirdly shaped. I've got like a dent in my chest. She's um, got one of them like pigeon I can't remember what things. that's called. Pectus excavatum or something. Oh, excavatum. So this is a bit strange here because you have like a couple of inches below where it goes across and it just goes right across my dent. I'm almost tempted, like I don't know if it'd be better to cut below here no, or to keep it because if I not. if I cut below here, I don't think it's going to sit well against my dent. I think this kind of like flattens it out a little bit. But are you suggesting that you would cut under there so that you could wear like a bralette e easier yeah. or something? It yeah. would depend entirely on, I realise I'm looking in the viewfinder for the majority of this video, but that's because I literally am just in awe of these titties. I could always cut it up like a little bit higher. It would really depend I on need the to garment. I need, to try, um, uh, I need to try more different types of clothes on. Because really, you discussed cutting this a bit lower, because this is not so this good. Is, this is the other thing. So from the back, this is yeah. pretty high. That looks Great. Apart from when you turn your head and it creases unnaturally. It doesn't that need to be that high. It's coming well into my hairline. Yeah, okay, it could be a bit lower. It could but... be a little bit lower. But this in the front could be a little bit higher. Because at the moment, it goes like, it sits just underneath my Adam's apple and it's right in the middle of my neck. So I can't really hide that with anything. See, I would want that there because I wear chokers that sit perfectly in the middle of my neck. So I, don't, I wear don't wear chokers. necklaces there where the majority, if you've ever seen Drag Race, if you've ever seen a drag queen, they, they will, in most cases, James Mansfield, for example, will go all the way up, which I think we thought this was going to, if didn't we? If this went more like... It will sit just under your chin. More like and that, that would be... It's not... That would be better, but it doesn't... Completely hidden, but a lot of the time it is. But then most queens will put a necklace sort of there and then it ends about here and it covers it up perfectly. So I would want it there, but you, I can see you not. Generally speaking, they're super, super comfortable, but like around the neck is very uncomfortable. It's very, it keeps like, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right, it doesn't feel right. So what I am going to do is I am going to cut this neck a bit lower where I can comfortably hide it with a necklace or something. But you'll see that, I'll do that before I get into drag, and you'll see that when we're all dished When up. we're all done up. Well, yeah. do you want to do that now? Yeah, all right. Okay. So this is what they look like in full drag. You obviously saw a little sneaky peek at the beginning of the video. But um, this really is my attempt at showing off as much flesh as I possibly can with them. Yes, because, I mean, at a quick glance, and I think you could wear this look out and it would be kind of fine, really. Well, I might wear a thicker necklace because this is me just kind of showing off because it's so perfectly placed. 
but if I move a little bit, you can start to see that it is just a bit precarious. You could just put some like double-sided tape or something just to secure it in place. Yeah, there's, there's ways around that. This is a really creepy chair. It's not so much that that's the problem. Would you stop fucking the chair, please? It's this part here, which you have um, concealed with some hair. So, but if you were to go out, for example, for an evening out, you also could. I'm thinking, because I've already customized the neckline, like I said before, and this is much more comfortable now. I've done it a lot lower. It's so much more comfortable. You could also customize the arms as well, because this comes over my shoulder, maybe a little bit too much. I would probably take a strap like this to use as reference, maybe draw like a little line. And then if I was gonna wear this out, I could always just tape the strap to There's the There's ways edge. around it. Um, and but I do think this is maybe a little bit too much, and I am getting a little bit of like, what I call like armpit vagina where I think that the the line here under my armpit is going up a little bit too high. I could loosen that a little bit and give me some more like maneuverability. Um, apart from that though, I think honestly, it's not that big a deal. Cause like, who cares really? Like no one's under the illusion that they're real, even though they look like fucking great honking tats. I'll stand up as well. So you can see that this um, like bra situation that I've got on. Lesser. This matches like the same length of the actual like breastplate. So this is probably again, like the most naked I can be with it. But if you see, it's completely covered here. So the actual, if I lift this up, you might be able to see, there it is. Do you see yeah, that? that's fine. Like that, I don't think that's really gonna be an issue because- So I couldn't really wear anything like higher, like a bra. This bra let situation though works perfectly. They, they mostly come down a bit further anyway. So I think that's probably fine. And then you'll have to guide the, the back. Yeah, so you. the back is like, okay. So if we move this out the way, you can obviously see where it ends is literally there. And it's not like the, the, the worst thing in the world. Like if your hair's in front of it, if you're gonna be on stage dancing around, you can sit back down now. Thank you for your assistance there. Like if you're on stage and you're throwing your hair around, it's gonna be pretty obvious. So you're gonna have to find ways around that. But just like this, super cash, you know, hair down on top of it. I think it's fine, who cares? So I managed to, after I cut the neck a bit wider, I managed to do my entire face and then put this on, on top. So it really was a lot easier to put on with more space. It was because it was quite stretchy. I have put loads of baby powder on the inside as well. So nothing's like sticking skin on skin. There's no like clamminess. The sound of you taking it off is just nightmare fuel. It's But awful. I would really recommend like baby powder in the inside because that just really helps get it on. I've also powdered all over. Take some of the, the shine top. down a bit. And it just mattifies it a bit. Shine. Whereas before when I was showing you like you had that kind of like plasticky sheen. It doesn't have that anymore. They just look great. I think they look fucking great to be honest. And I, I feel like match is amazing I feel well. like mine looks so much less realistic now compared to yours. <laughs> so you can't wear them please because tits are my thing. Thank you very much. So I'll put all of the details in the description <laughs> of exactly what this is that I'm wearing. But I believe this is a C, is it a C cup? It's a C cup and it's the, not Num the palest one. Color number two it's the out one of up. three, I think. And you don't have like wildly dark. You're still quite fair. Yeah. So this is just like a regular sort of like Caucasian tone, I think, yeah. that works well right. with these tip with, with Nova's makeup because it matches very nicely. It's very, very comfortable. They feel very, very secure. Nothing's pinchy, nothing feels too heavy. They didn't really feel that heavy on, to be honest. Like, they felt heavy holding them. It's like a giant but backpack actually, though. Like if you put to pick up like a backpack, it's yeah. super heavy. But once it's like distributed over you, it's not so bad. I'm, I'm so used to I'm the guessing. weights already then being on. I am gonna do a little costume change just to show. I have a dress that is all mesh, super low cut, but it's got sleeves on. So that'd be like another little a little look. And I'm gonna switch the necklace as well. But I do think this one- I think that's fine, to pretty, be honest. It's pretty, pretty good, yeah. Oh God, look at them. Size of them. They're also like, this bralet was always a little bit tight on Nova. So it has that kind of like realistic when like a lady wears something ever so slightly snug. It's just and it's not like, like four boobs, but you know what I mean? There's just like that slight sort of like pressure on the teat. Oh, let me just have a look She's at ready phone. for milking. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm just double checking because I did ask on Twitter if you guys had any questions regarding this review. So let me just go through and see. Tits! Live in La Dolce Vita. Nova's titties couldn't be sweeter. So Trash Queen Daniel has asked, I'd like to know why you wanted one specifically. I know it's for the illusion, but I think it'd be interesting to know your own personal thought process behind getting one. 
So I think I probably prefer, in some ways, drawing on cleavage. I do struggle with it though, and it takes a very, very long time. So there's kind of pros and cons with that. I think just sometimes because it's like, I like the kind of false look of like the warmth and the highlight and like it looks like it's been drawn on. It's almost more like mm -hmm. artistic than mm -hmm. a breastplate, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's more, it looks like makeup and I don't mind that it looks like makeup. But um, I have no meat on me. So I think for some oh, outfits- Oh, less than nothing, honestly. She can have some of mine. For some outfits and for some items of like clothing, I think having like proper like, integrated mm -hmm. tits is going to just blend everything together and just Also, out. let's be honest, like you can, I mean, some girls just don't choose to have anything. A lot of, particularly sort of the fashion-y birds, nothing at all, you know, it's just, it's just completely nothing, it's, it's flat. I'm by no means gonna be wearing this, these all the time. fine, it's great. It's, just, it's, it's, you know, in terms of a personal preference, maybe you just want the illusion to look more realistic, which some people go for, you know. And I have to, I was just they super do curious. I just wanted to see what they look like. I think as well, Charmaine has got a pair and she has them for the sole purpose of not having to shave her chest, which was She's not so something, lazy. That wasn't something I'd ever contemplated before or considered, but that's actually a very, very big mm -hmm. positive because I have not shaved my chest under here. So that is kind of, that, it does easier. all save time. I don't have to draw on it's tips. It's easier. I don't have to shave my chest. There are a lot of like, it does save yes. time. So that's definitely- So, you them. know, sometimes in, in drag, it'll be why someone wears like a, like Charmaine will wear a top all the way up to there so you don't have to shave. It's why some, you know, I, I like having nail gloves on because it saves so much time. And it just kind of like presents, you can continue presenting the entire sort of like look or illusion or whatever. But you are saving time. So there's a whole bunch of reasons. But yeah. I don't know, personally, I think you just sort of fancy the idea of it. And because you've got absolutely nothing there to work with. And it just kind of like ups it a bit, I think. I think it just like makes it a bit fancier. Somebody else asked how discreet the packaging was. And I cannot remember <laughs> the outside of it. It was grey, wasn't it? And I don't so think it had any there anything was nothing. on it. It just had our address. There was no branding or anything. And they come in a completely plain cardboard box. No branding on the cardboard nothing box. Nothing at all. You have to open the cardboard box before you see anything. The actual kind of like white packaging it came in with our address on it. There was some sort of company on it, but it was really, really vague. It wasn't like fake tits company dot co, whatever. It was literally just some random kind of name our address and that was it. And inside the box, we, you've seen the box, we opened it earlier on, there's nothing yeah. on it at all. So it's yeah. discreet as you like. So I'm gonna do a little costume change now just to show again, like a, a different way. Because I really like how this looks through mesh as well. I think that looks like super mesh. realistic. So I'm gonna do that now. All right. Okay, so we've returned and you've now put something on different. Yeah, I don't know why you've changed. Because during the lockdown, you do whatever you can to make yourself feel better. Right, so this is something a little bit less tizzy -licious, but also shows off the cleavage, but it's a lot more covered. So I, I'm hoping you can kind of see, this is not very good. Me, like, you'll see forward. it, you'll see it. So There's... you can see like the cleavage through mesh. I'm not wearing a bra with this Sort of all. looks a bit like a butt as well. Could I mean... be, could be that. And I also wanted to show you, because a lot of people are kind of put off by the idea that they have to wear a necklace to conceal the neckline. I mean, if you manage to, because we're all, we're all different shapes and sizes. For me, the neck that came with it just didn't work. It was the wrong length, it didn't work. It might work for you, but if you need to cut it out like I have done, you didn't necessarily have to wear like a massive fat off like bib necklace. Like this is quite a dainty necklace. And although it is a little precarious, I could probably get it like a little bit shorter and tighter. It just now sits on the rim of it, and it does look pretty good, I think. Yeah, it does. We had to adjust it slightly just so that it was the right level, but um, again, if it's like for photos and yeah, stuff, Yeah, if you I can't... move around a lot, it does start to shift around. But um, you could always just like get a little, um, like we've done on my shoulder, I'll show you in a second, get a little hair grip and like just tuck the back of the chain into the, the back of the neck. and then Just it to marry it up perfectly, yeah. yes. So also on the sleeves here, this one for some reason seems to be a little bit wider. So what we've done is we've taken the sleeve of the dress and just put a little hair grip here. Just slotted it through the mesh. Onto the sleeve of the breastplate. And now, I know I've got hair covering it, but the sleeves line up and you can't see the join at all. Which to be fair, that dress is, you know, that was regardless of this, 
if it was more of a, a thicker kind of piece going over here, that, that kind of dress, it would be fine for. Anything which is completely covered in that, you know, shoulder area, that problem, it wouldn't even exist. Like, the, the, it just depends on what you're wearing, really, but you wouldn't even see that on, I'm sure, I'm assuming the majority of the garments you've got. I've had these on for hours now, and they're still super comfortable. I'm a little bit, like, sweaty and clammy underneath, but oh, I, usually, a little bit. I usually am when I'm in drag anyway, because we have all these lights on. We've got no air conditioning, no fans or no windows open. It's not a different level of comfort at all compared to, like, my my norm. Usually. Well, I'm very impressed, so we'd like to thank you, the, the, the people that sent us these. They've got such a good oh. jiggle to them. Look at them. Um, and like of when course, you just walk in, they do, like, she's they move really well. It's insufferable. Nova, honestly, sit down, please. Calm down. So you can see now where I've moved. And I'm having boobs exciting Nova, but you know. Do you see like how I've just been moving, how it kind of reveals itself? Don't run place. before you can walk. So um, I'll just pull it back a little bit. Don't maybe. run before you can breastfeed Nova. Right. And um, the uh, information for the company that sent Nova this lovely, wonderful pair of titties is going to be in the description below. I'm not exactly sure how much they retail for, but I do believe that this is still cheaper than your leading like retailer. I'm thinking of people like Boobs for Queens and like the, the names that people know because of like Drag Race and stuff. These are a bit cheaper than that, but they're also a little bit more expensive than others that I've seen available on similar stores at like AliExpress and eBay. So they're kind of like a mid-tier, but I think this is this is perfect quality. I couldn't want anything better than this. Shars are a bit cheaper, but I think they look a little bit firmer. The movement isn't quite as realistic as these. So maybe as you know, you pay a bit more, the the level of kind of realism. Shar has gone from a much bigger size. Um, if you want to compare, like you can go on her social media. She's got from a completely different retailer, so they're not the same mm -hmm. brand at all. But she's gone for a size bigger, a few sizes bigger. She's gone for a G. Hers are enormous. And at the top of her actual breasts, there's a little bit of like a line, whereas mine is very smooth from the breasts into the rest of the, the breasts? chest. Breasts? So hers look a bit more like fake tits, like as in like, like she's had implants. implants. She's got kind of like Which almost a bit of a line is, where the you know, start. An aesthetic she is obviously super into. It depends on what you're after, really. But um, I think you know, even for the price of these, I think they are great. They're fucking realistic. Did we talk about the nipples? Oh, we did. We did speak They're about really, the nipples earlier yeah, on. Um, you just maybe have to kind of think of a way of covering it because this is like a sequin moment. You can't see the yeah, nipples no, as they much. Look, they look fine. I'm than if it was like a thin well. thread. Um, but you find ways around it. Like they are quite adaptable, as Nova yeah. explained throughout the whole thing. So you know, I, you know, pick up a pair today. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally happy with these. Um, so thank you so much, Dokie, for sending them our way. Also, we've got to have a shout out to Jad, who produced this gorgeous jewellery for us. Oh yeah, that made so I'm wearing of, um, a lovely, gemstones. a lovely necklace here. Well, there's two actually. There's this one, one with the stone as well, and over has got the earrings and the necklace set. There's loads of it, more of it though, and um, we're going to have pictures of that on social media. So if you want to find out more about this lovely jewellery, that was a lovely little gift in our PO box. So thank you, you so can much. do it. Thank you so much. If you'd like to send us some tat, the PO box is listed down below with our social media and how you can join the Patron. All right then, should we go? Oh, cheers then. Bye. Goodbye. Join our Patreon, make your parents not proud.